Why didn't that train blow its horn at the crossing? For rail fans, a thunderous rumble, the flash of steel, and the raw power of a locomotive are pure magic. The horn is a part of that soundtrack. If you've noticed trains passing by without their signature horn blast, you might be in a quiet zone. Federal law requires that engineers sound the horn at all public grade crossings. For good reason, it's an essential safety warning. But in areas with many closely spaced crossings, the constant horn can be repetitive and can even lessen the impact of the sound for those who hear it all the time. A quiet zone isn't just about silence. It's about replacing the traditional horn with modern targeted safety technology. Think of it as a complete upgrade to crossing protection. Infrastructure improvements like medians make crossing safer by preventing vehicles from swerving around the gates. Only a public authority, such as a city, county, or state, can initiate the quiet zone process. Private citizens must appeal to their local government to pursue the designation. A new quiet zone must be at least one half mile in length and include at least one public highway rail grade crossing. A community can choose to establish a partial quiet zone that only restricts train horns during overnight hours, typically 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., or a full quiet zone that applies 24-7. Every public grade crossing within a quiet zone must have standard automatic warning devices. All warning systems must include flashing lights and gates. Functional flashing lights and gates are required to control traffic. Constant warning time, CWT devices. These devices adjust the warning time based on the train's speed, ensuring consistent notice of an approaching train. Power out indicators. A system that provides notification to train crews and maintenance workers if there is a power outage at the crossing. Bells, if applicable. If the crossing serves pedestrians and is already equipped with bells, they must remain in working condition. What do you think? Drop a note in the comment section.